Exercise 9. In this example, you will learn about tangent lines. Take a look at your cat exercises.pdf or download this from our download page on our website to follow how we can draw up this profile. We select all the geometry, click on delete, and we will start to define the first arc, the R24, because our reference point is will be in the middle of this arc, so we reset everything, we enter a radius of 24, we will counterclockwise in this case, and our start angle is approximately here, and it will end almost here. Look at the example before you click on OK, and there's our arc. We will then sketch a vertical line with a value of, if you look at the drawing, minus 12. OK. We can fill it this, these two elements with a radius of 18. OK. The lower arc we can also define because we know the center point and the radius, so we move to arc coordinates and the center of this arc is plus 24. If you look at the drawing, minus 96 plus 12, which gives you a result of minus 60. The mistake only is that is applies for the y value, so the y value is minus 60 and the x is 0. The radius is 12. The start angle is about here and it moves up to around here or a little bit further. Look at the example, it's OK, click on OK and you may trim the elements. And now if you look at the drawing you see a dashed line which continues up to a point with coordinates 23 minus 8, so this is a virtual line but we need to draw the point so we can define the tangent line. So we move to draw point coordinates x value 23 y value of minus 8 and you see your point over there and as the point and the arc are the last two elements the tangent line function will define the line between the arc and the point. So there's your tangent line. We can then draw a horizontal line from left to right. Don't make it too short because you can see we need a, to define a radius of 40 between these two lines. So the y value is minus 8 and we can define a radius of 40 millimeters see our profile is almost ready we just need to define the arc of R8 click on reset this will save you some clicking and enter a y value of 67 the radius is 8 and our start angle is around here up to here you can click on OK there's our arc we can again trim the elements and now we need to define a tangent line between this arc and the first arc. So this is the last element and this is the first element. So we need to think about the close chain button. So we activate this button. If we move to the tangent line function it will define a tangent line between the last and the first element. We click on the tangent line and there's our tangent line. So our profile is ready. We can select the point and delete this as we don't need the point anymore. And there's your profile. So you can define a tangent line between arcs and between points and arcs. So move on to the next exercise. I found that the order and direction is very important here. 
and we can move on to draw an arc because that's what we would like to define. It's not coordinates with, because we don't know uh, uh, the center and the radius. We don't know a radius value so it must be the three elements. So we click on three elements and you will see you get a defined arc over there. You see the point is automatically being deselected which gives you the opportunity to trim automatically these three elements, this one, the new arc and this line by clicking on trim and you have your arc. Deselect everything, select the point which you don't need anymore. You might see a gap here which this is just a pixel problem just move to view and redraw and there's your line again. So if you would like to know what the radius is move to the radius with your mouse and you would see it's 7.179 so far, exercise 7, and move on to the next exercise.